Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my fragrance collection, and even though admittedly I am not that great at de describing fragrances, as I've said in prior videos, because I always, so many notes in fragrance, and I have so many here, so I could never possibly remember all the notes in every fragrance. There's like top, middle, bottom notes. So, but I still really love fragrance, and I have some really great ones here that I've uh, really come to enjoy. So I still wanted to go through my collection and talk about each one of them. So let's get started. The let's start with these two, and I have had almost every single one from this line. These are the two that I have still remaining in my collection, though I have gone through every other scent that uh, I have from them. And it is Nest Fragrances. So I started first with the Midnight Floor and fell in love with Midnight Floor. It is ridiculously amazing. One of the most unique fragrances I've ever smelled. It's very rich and very warm, but it has this like spiciness to it. It's just one of the most unique fragrances I've ever, ever smelled smelled. And now they have a lighter version, which is amazing. It's the Midnight Floor Soleil. And I mean, the bottles alone, oops, the bottles alone are just absolutely like beautiful and like works of art. So this is, it's a little bit lighter and more suitable for day. So this is definitely something to try if you've tried the Midnight Floor and really enjoy it, but wanted something just a little bit less heavy because it is really heavy. I do have to like save it for like winter. <laughs> It's a little too much, but this has been really nice to wear now in the warmer weather because it's just a little bit lighter. And this is their newest one. I think it's Verde. 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 Um, this is the Midnight Soleil is actually their newest one, but it or Midnight Floor Soleil is their newest launch, but it is a scent that they already have in the collection. This is a completely new scent, and it's very herbaceous as you can see from like the little vines and everything on here and very fresh, very herbaceous, but not kind of like a cut grass smell by any means. Slightly, smells slightly citrusy to me, but it's just a very fresh, I love wearing this in the summer because like I said, it's like that fresh scent that I really enjoy. Some other notable Nest fragrances that I have now finished, though I probably should get another bottle because White Sandalwood is one of my holy grail winter fragrances. It is smells just like sandalwood, but very warm. It, it has what it smells like. It has like hints of vanilla in it and the sandalwood. It's just very warm and inviting and not too overpowering. So it is just the perfect fall winter scent. And I just love that. I also love indigo, really love that one. And then passion something. Why am I drawing a blank now? It's the, it's the orange one. And I'm drawing a blank as to what it is. Anyway, it's really citrusy, but spicy. Has this like fresh spice, spice to it. And it's a really great fragrance for the summer. I brought it on vacation with me a bunch of times. I have the roller ball and I just love it. And it's really um, nice. So those are all of my nest fragrances. Next, the Laura Mercier Verbena Infusion. So this is my first Laura Mercier fragrance. This is their Eau de Toilette and this is their newest one. It has a citrus, it has some citrus kind of notes to it, but it smells like you just stepped out of the shower. Like every time I spray this on, when I smelled it in the bottle, I thought it was like almost too fresh. Do you know what I'm saying? Like some fragrances that you smell that are, you're like, okay, that's fresh. Like I'm not trying to smell like I'm actually in the shower. So I wasn't sure how this would wear, but I read a lot of reviews that said once it's on the skin, it really kind of develops nicely, and that's totally the case. So this smells incredibly fresh with like a hint of citrus, but it settles down nicely, so it's not like you just stepped out of the shower, but really been enjoying this for the summer. Another summer fragrance is this one by Mark. It's called Buenos Aires Vibe. And it's like really affordable. I don't even know, I can't remember how much it is, but it's like super affordable. It's really sweet and tropical and fruity. And sometimes, I, you, it's very rare that I find a fragrance too sweet, to be honest with you, because I really like sweet fragrances, but obviously something's like sickeningly sweet. Um, I can't do it, but this is definitely, it's sweet and fresh and fruity. It smells very young and, but I just love this stuff. It's 
It reminds me um, of, actually I have one of them here, the like Escada does those limited edition kind of fruity fragrances every season, every summer actually. And that's kind of what that reminds me of, but at like a much lower price point. But I actually have a Scotta's one that they released this summer, which as soon as I smelled it, I was like, oh, I love. I can't remember. There was one that got me started on them like a decade ago. And I was like, this is so nice. And then I saw they did kind of like a, they would just change it up just slightly every single year. And I just fell in love with it. So this is the Escada Turquoise Summer. And really, you know what it smells like? Like Ralph. That little, the blue one for Ralph Lauren Ralph. I love that fragrance. I know it's for like kids, but I just find that fragrance so fun and sweet and fresh and fruity and I just love it. So I've, I've joked before that I don't have a very like sophisticated palette when it comes to fragrance. Like sometimes when I'll go into like Bergdorf or Barney's, I'll smell these expensive, amazing fragrances and I'm like, okay. So I, you know, I tend to, like Ralph was one of the first fragrances I ever loved, like even as like in my mid twenties. So it's got to smell somewhat like this. It's very fresh, fruity. Um, the Mark one is a little bit more airy. So this is definitely a little bit stronger, like that I can smell the sweetness is a little bit stronger where that is a little bit more fruity, which I think is nice. And almost the Mark smells like it would, it, and it wears actually kind of like a body mist, which I really like. Okay, next, oh my gosh. So this is a brand that is very fancy and uh, very high price point, but I love every single one of their scents. There's, I don't know if there's been a scent that I've tried yet from them or smelled in the store that I haven't loved. And it's the Tillier Cologne. This is Pomelo Paradis. And it smells, what I love about their fragrances is everything smells so pure. Like you can, Everything, it just, it doesn't smell watered down or it doesn't smell like they've used any type of synthetic fragrance. Sometimes you can smell a fragrance and be like, that's a little synthetic. This just smells so absolute and so pure. So this is definitely a more, it smells like a fresh tangerine, like a fresh cut tangerine. And that's like exactly what it smells like. And it's, it's really not kind of, you know, dull down with anything. It really smells like, it's kind of like a, that citrusy, strong, um, it doesn't smell sour, it sounds, sounds awful, it's like it smells sour, but there's kind of like a tartness that it has that I really, really enjoy versus other kind of more orangey, citrusy fragrances that can be kind of sweet or not smell so pure and fresh. This one is unbelievable. Another one I have from Atelier Cologne is the Sentel Carmen that I wear in the winter. This, this got me hooked on them. And it is very kind of rich and almost musky, which I'm not really a fan of, but this is absolutely like, every time I smell it, like my head gets, like it just makes me, I don't know. I, I kind of get like a good feeling even you know how sometimes scent brings you back to like a good time I can't think of a good time when I was wearing this but for whatever reason every time I smell it it's almost a little smoky every time I smell it I just get kind of happy I don't know it's just like warm and inviting and it just makes me want to put on like a really big cashmere sweater like a big cowl neck and just like curl up on the couch not now because it's like I, I don't want summer to leave but um, I'd like like a mild winter where it's just cold enough to wear this. So highly recommend that. Uh, another fragrance, so I have tried a ton of the Diptyque fragrances. People swear by them, people are like, I love Diptyque fragrances, oh my god. And I just haven't found many that I like. And I've tried like maybe I need to wear it and it's like, it does not work on my body chemistry. Though I know people like live for the Diptyque fragrances. So I haven't tried them all on my skin, so I can't say that all of them don't work, but there's a large majority of them, like all the popular ones everyone talks about, and they just don't work for me. Ooh. But I did find one that does, and I was so excited because I love the bottle. It's the 34. It's like such a cool bottle. And this one, 
So it almost smells like a men's fragrance because it's really like, it's a little bit warm and spicy, but it has that kind of freshness that a men's scent does. So I like it because it's very different than what I typically wear. I would say I like more, I like more vanilla warm, musky warm. Um, but this, it's just, it does smell like a, a men's fragrance. So, but on me, it really turns, um, it, it smells really nice. And um, it's one of the ones, like I said, that I found that really works for me. Unfortunately, not many others work for me. But if you have a diptyque fragrance that you love, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I need to go try them again. Sometimes it's just, you know, maybe my body chemistry has changed from the winter. Okay, two Jo Malone fragrances, I already actually finished one. One is Blackberry and Bay, which is, sometimes I forget, I have to like smell them again here. This one is, smells like blackberries, kind of very fresh, very fruity. And what did I just finish? I can't remember what I just finished for them, but I like a lot of different fragrances from Jo Malone. This one is very controversial, meaning that like some people either love it or they hate it. And it's the Pomegranate Noir. It's very dark and deep and very unique. Unique like the Midnight Floor, but but the Midnight Floor is almost warmer than this. So this has like a, a, a sourness to it, but not like a, obviously I love it. So it's not like a ew sour to me, but it's so unique. And like I said, it's it divides people. You either love Pomegranate Noir or you hate it. I love it. All right, next is the Fresh. I love so many of Fresh fragrances. This is their Sugar Lychee, and it's like sweet and fresh, hence the name. I love Fresh fragrances because they do sweet and kind of sugary, citrusy scents that don't smell overdone or very synthetic. They smell very fresh, very pure, as if like, I mean, it, it smells like you're smelling whatever, like fresh lemon or fresh orange, citrus, sugar. And this is the sugar lychee, which I really enjoy. Oh my gosh, my poor dog, I almost like back here. He's probably like, I just spraying all these fragrances and he, he hasn't sneezed yet, but I'm sure it's coming. So this one I really love. I love the brown sugar. I love the lemon. They just do such great ones. The um, there was one that I tried recently, I can't remember, in store that was like mind blowing. The cannabis, Santal, the cannabis one, I think, which I didn't think, I, I thought I'd smelled that years ago and I did like it, but I smelled it recently in Sephora and I was like, what? That is amazing. So highly recommend trying any of these. Oh, I can smell a little Elmo. He's like, I can smell him smelling. I can hear him smelling back there. <laughs> so cute. All right, uh, final ones are really floral. As you can tell, I don't have a ton of floral fragrances because I tend to be like, eh, on the fence about floral. Like, gardenia fragrances are not for me. Watch me say that, like, found a find a gardenia fragrance that I really enjoy. It's like, so me. Uh, but on the whole, I don't tend to gravitate towards too many floral fragrances. But these are all floral that I found that I really enjoyed. So this is Toca Isabel. I already finished uh, Toca Margot. Oh, I love Toca Margot. Um, but Isabel is nice and floral and just very pleasant. It's like a very nice, pleasant floral fragrance. And I just realized I have another Toca fragrance in the bathroom that I'm wearing right now that's also floral. And I can't remember the name. So whatever. We'll just talk about these ones, the ones that I have here, because these are pretty much all my fragrances except for that one in the bathroom. So like I said, um, Toka Isabel, very fresh, floral, pleasant. Really, that's what it is. It just smells very pleasant when I wear it. But Margot was like this like warm, spicy, almost had like this like whiskey scent to it. Um, and it was just, it's absolutely amazing for the fall. And I already, I finished it. Okay, these last two are a very splurge worthy and definitely both are splurges and they kind of fall into those like fancier fragrance categories, but I love them. So I know I was saying before, sometimes I smell like fancier, more expensive fragrances and they just kind of don't work for me, but these are absolutely amazing. And they're both rose scented and both like primarily rose scented. And I am not a rose fan. I, it has to be the right 
type or, you know, mix of rose for me to really enjoy it. Okay, so this is Erin Rose de Grasse. And holy rail. Oh my God. It is by far one of the most beautiful, elegant, rose scented fragrances I have ever smelled and it wears on the skin. It's amazing. Absolutely would buy this 10 times over. And I go through it like just, the rest I can be more like, I like more liberal with when I spray. This one I'm like spritz and just kind of like walk into it so it gets everywhere. Just absolutely magnificent. And then this is uh, Maison Francis Kerr, oh, I'll link link it below. Um, but this is the A La Rose and absolutely so beautiful, such a wearable rose, not too floral. I think that's what it is. It, it's just not too floral where it's like baby powdery, kind of that powdery floral. I don't tend to like that, but this has a little bit more freshness and sweetness to it. So I think that's why I like it and it's magnificent, just magnificent. And just the bottle is like so pretty. Just like you can see it sitting right on my vanity right there. So love this. And I am testing out some other fragrances, a few more. So this isn't my total collection because I am testing out um, a few more that I'll be reviewing shortly, but this is um, everything that I wear on a regular basis. So. I'd love to know what fragrances you guys love and are some of your favorites or that you're wearing now because I'm always looking, you know, to try new ones or, you know, try a pick up a sample of something new. So leave me some comments below. And also I'm, you know, putting together some video ideas for the fall and whatnot. So I'd love to hear if you have any video requests or things that you'd like to see me do or talk about. Um, doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be makeup related, whatever whatever kind of requests that you guys have, leave me a comment below and I will try to incorporate some of those into my upcoming videos. And I will talk to everyone soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.